Hey Scorpio, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, Scorpio. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, so for the month of September 2022, this is for you. Cross watchers are always welcome here. Everyone, just please keep in mind that these are very general messages for the Scorpio Collective. So take what does, leave what does not for the next person. Um, and you show up here, Scorpio, transformation and hope. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, but you could just be going through some sort of drastic change, some sort of major change in the month of September, Scorpio. The songs I got for you guys is Free Mind by Tim's um, and Cater, or I think it's Cater or Cater to You by Tink featuring, um, I think it's 2 Chains. So I'm hearing scattered thoughts, okay? So you could be trying to um, figure out something, organize something, or organize your thoughts concerning a certain area of your life, Scorpio, um, or just kind of really going through it. It feels like some of you guys may need time to yourself to figure something out, but it also feels as if uh, some of you guys have someone in your life or there's someone that is, you know, surfacing or resurfacing in your life that is a big help to you, okay? Somebody that's willing to cater to you and this is you in regards to someone else. Um, but it, it feels like September is being good to you guys. It feels like there's someone who is um, proving that they are there for you, whether this is a friend, a family member. Um, a love interest. It does feel romantic, Scorpio. Some of you guys are dealing with a Libra as well. Okay. Or you may have it in your chart. Maybe you're like a Libra, a uh, Scorpio cusper. And I kept hearing Libra, okay, while I was getting ready for you guys' reading. So that does resonate for some of you. Um, but there's someone that's coming in. It's almost like someone's saving a day. This is a feminine or a masculine that's coming in. It's really supportive of you. And I feel like um, some of you guys are falling in love or somebody's falling in love with you or you're just really realizing how secure a situation is or how down somebody is for you, Scorpio. So um, it feels really good. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, yeah, wisdom and universe. Some of you guys are dealing with the Taurus as well. Um, and yeah, if you have not already, go ahead and like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course, subscribe. The more you interact here with the content on the channel, the more it actually puts your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. I'm seeing this new life card, right? I was just about to say, um, that lavender could be significant, the scent or, uh, the color or just the energy, the calmness of it all. Um, Cause lavender is very calming, it's very soothing. And with this new life card, there's a lot of lavender that she has on, okay? Um, and even behind that, we have the yin card as well, which is a lot of purple, lavender, pink type of energy. But this is about harmony, this is about balance. And then we have regeneration um, and mending. So it feels like something's finally coming together for you or you're finally in a certain space um, or situation in your life or, um, um, something is just kind of, I'm hearing with ease, something is just happening with ease or somebody is making life a lot more simpler and easier for you or they want to. Okay. So let's see, let's start off with the uh, wisdom oracle deck. Yeah. I see time for a nap. All right. Truth be told fork in the road or something here is being laid to rest. It's almost like um, a situation is being resolved. Or um, there's something like somebody just doesn't want you to worry. Somebody, somebody's got you. I'm here and I got you. Somebody has your back. Blessed and breathe. The letter B could be significant for some of you guys, Scorpio. So let's see what your wisdom oracle messages are for the month of September. What is it that you need to know? Yeah, round and round. So the free mind song by Tim's, it's like you've been caught up trying to figure something out, or maybe you've been doing a lot of running around. Maybe you've been handling a lot of things, jungle, juggling a lot of different situations um, in life. But it feels like you guys are coming out of whatever this confusion is, this uncertainty is. If you've been doing a lot on your own, it feels like there's some sort of help, okay? Or coming together, a collaboration that's happening for you guys in September. We have go to distance, okay? So you're coming out of whatever this uh, cycle is. Some sort of cycle is being completed or something that's been bothering you. Um, it's almost like you're at the finish line. So some of you guys are completing some sort of course or task or something that you've had your mindset on, some sort of goal, and you're very close to achieving it or you are achieving it. Um, and it's like it's a weight that's lifted off of your shoulders in the month of September. 
okay yeah and then we have milk and honey this is what you're very close to or this is what's happening for you in the month of september something here is just very smooth very blissful okay Definitely coming out of like a complicated situation, energy, whether it's mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, whatever this is for you, Scorpio. Um, but it feels like you have help, okay? It feels like you have a leg up in a situation or something just feels like finally you feel secure in a certain situation. Um, the letter S could be significant as well. And we have mending. All right, so somebody, some of you guys could be mending um, a situation or it's just, again, it's something, it's a certain area in your life or your life as a whole just kind of feels like it's finally on track. Things are finally in alignment. Things are finally where you want it to be or it's, at least it's headed in that path. Time for a nap again behind that. Deep knowing, um, unfinished symphony and poise. Yeah, y'all are completing something. It can be like um, a course or a school or some sort of certification or something like that is what I'm picking up for a lot of you guys here. So let's see what comes out from the Psychic Oracle. That wisdom card is still at the bottom of the deck and suffering and silence. It's kind of like you are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, um, there could also just be some sort of commitment, whether this is a relationship or like a business deal, a career move, um, especially with the, the base shock or something is very secure, starting from the ground up, trapped in fear, rest and rejuvenate, or if you're worried about your security, your finances, um, your stability in any way, it's like somebody is not going to allow you to fall or somebody's not going to allow you to, to handle or tackle something on your own, Scorpio. Like somebody um, moving on. Some of you guys could actually be moving or you could just be moving into like a, a more powerful position, okay? Uh, Aries could be significant. Let's see. What is it that you need to know for the month of September? Clarity confirmation. If this is hidden home for you or you would like a private reading, check out the description box below, you guys. All the information is there in regards to how to book a private session with me. Uh, you got balance. You have balance. You have fertility. Okay. You have triumph and you have material harvest. It definitely feels like you are feeling very determined. Okay. Or you're crossing the finish line. You're accomplishing something. You're seeing the, like the fruits of your labor here. Um, or you're being put in a position like a higher position or some sort of um, some sort of upgrade is happening here as well. I keep getting a move. The triumph card is like the chariot card. We have cancer here. Taurus, Libra could be significant. Virgo could be significant. Double Libra, actually. Um, Gemini, double Virgo actually is here as well. What's at the bottom? Yeah, look at this. Positive movement forward. So either this is a physical move or just an energetic move or whatever's been stagnant in a, a situation or relationship. Um, I keep getting you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. A Leo could be significant for some of you guys. Uh, the color red could also be significant. But with positive movement forward, this is what you're moving into. Firm foundation, okay? Um, mental conflict, patience. So if you're worried about something... Try not to worry too much, Scorpio. It feels like something's happening or somebody's going to make sure that you're good. Patience and planning, okay? Or somebody, you may not be aware of this right now, but somebody is planning to kind of help you out or make life a lot easier. Uh, seven could be significant. Fourteen could be significant. Victory and success, spiritual strength and passion get ignited. It feels like something that you've always wanted or something that you've been waiting for for some time is finally happening for you. Or you feel like you could just kind of take a breath of uh, relief here. So it feels good, Scorpio. It feels like September is being really good to you guys. Look at this, two of cups. So this could be a higher level of commitment um, or this could just be you becoming in alignment with something or someone that's emotionally fulfilling. This could be a new level of commitment. I, I, like I said at the beginning, it feels like you guys are falling in love or someone's falling in love with you or falling in love all over again with the same person. There's some sort of mutual feelings here. Okay, but we do have the two of swords behind that. The emperor, the four of swords. Some of y'all are waiting on something. The queen of pentacles. Um, maybe you're waiting on this higher level of commitment or you're waiting for somebody to, to solidify things with you. The Tower, the Seven of Swords, the King of Wands, the Eight of Swords. Yeah, it's like if you guys, um, some of y'all are like waiting for a commitment or a promotion or something to happen. And maybe you're, you've been in your head about it thinking that it's not going to happen or this person doesn't take you seriously or you're not going to get to this point. Um, but I feel like something's changing 
whereas someone is proving to you or something's happening where it's, it's proven that something is going to work out in your favor. Okay, so I don't know if you guys are expressing your concerns um, or somebody's just very tapped into you. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Some of y'all are kind of, um, something about your season is popping up here too, Scorpio season. Some of you guys could be receiving um, an offer or some sort of gift, major gift or major change in Scorpio season. It could be happening in September as well. Um, but that's really what I'm getting. Let's see, Page of Pentacles. Clarity confirmation for the Scorpios. What's going down in the month of September? The Fool card. I keep getting a transition, okay, or a move. Maybe somebody, maybe you guys are relocating. You're moving with someone or someone is moving with you. Somebody's very passionate about you. Somebody's very um, protective over you as well. Seven of Cups, okay. Some of you guys really just don't know how much somebody cares for you. Maybe you just can't see it or you're just stuck, Um you're stuck in scenarios. You're stuck in your mind in regards to like something that's just not true. Don't overthink it, Scorpio. So let's see. Clarity confirmation. What's going on for you guys? For the month of September. The Ace of Cups, like Scorpio. If there's anything you're questioning, any body that you're questioning, or maybe this is someone that could be like questioning you. Um, the love is there, the offer is there, the emotion is there, the passion is there. Like you had the two of cups, now you have the ace of cups. Um, it's love all over this. I'm hearing love all over me uh, by Monica. That song could be significant. So y'all are definitely feeling loved, appreciated, even if it's not necessarily in a romantic sense. Um, it's someone or just people around you in your environment that's, that's, it feels like you're overwhelmed here, but it feels like in a good way. Why is this ace of cups here? The Hermit card, the King of Swords, the Page of Cups, okay? Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the Virgo. What's at the bottom? The Hierophant or Taurus. Somebody got their eyes on you. Somebody's planning something for you. Two of Pentacles, the Hangman, Pisces, Libra again, Eight of Swords. Some of y'all might be getting ready to like, Maybe you're thinking about it or you're like fed up or you're tired of waiting or you're antsy and it's like you're getting ready to call it quits, okay, in regards to a certain person, situation, relationship, whatever this is, um, or you're just kind of feeling a little hopeless about it. It's like you're in your head because you're waiting for something to shift, something to change. It's just not happening in the timing that you would like, um, but I feel like somebody's planning something for you. They're very, or you can't read someone, like somebody's very secretive about what they're planning for you, or you're holding back from, from someone. Why is the hermit here? Seven of Pentacles, High Priestess, Six of Swords. I just keep getting that you're waiting on something. And you're feeling as if, you know, too much time has passed, or it's too late, or you're not getting where you want to get here. What's the High Priestess? The Sun card, the Two of Swords, and the Temperance. You're definitely getting clarity on the situation, but I feel like it's bringing you, there's some sort of peace of mind that you're gaining. King of Cups, Five of Swords, Judgment. Somebody definitely has a lot of love for you, or this is you, especially if you are like a masculine Scorpio. Maybe you're dealing with um, an air sign, or you're planning something here. Some of y'all are dealing with another Scorpio. Somebody's, what's this five of swords? Eight of wands, somebody, nine of swords, will of fortune. Like somebody makes, wants to take some sort of leap of faith towards you or commit to you or offer you something, but they are trying to figure out exactly how to do it. Some of you guys, just, just be cautious with the energy because some of you guys may be pressuring someone to do something or to commit or to make some sort of move. And it's not that they don't want to, but they want it to be right. They want it to be perfect, okay? Or this is you. It kind of feels like if you get too much in your head, you could be thinking that somebody's not interested or something's not real or something like that. What's the Page of Cups? The King of Pentacles? Yeah, y'all waiting. The Empress? Ooh -wee. And the moon card, Taurus, Libra again, Cancer, Pisces again. Repetitive energy showing up in your reading, Scorpio. What's the moon card? Some Somebody's going to offer you something here. And it feels like I keep getting your season or it could, like somebody wants to take care of you. You're being treated like an empress. Some of y'all are definitely on the cusp of Libra, Scorpio. 
For some of y'all, um, I keep getting like an expecting energy as well. Some of y'all can be finding out that you're expecting or communicating to someone else that you are. What's what's the moon card? Five of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Three of Cups. I just I feel like for the month of September, whatever that it is that you're doubting, Scorpio, or overthinking, um, something's happening or somebody's, you know, proven that there's no reason for you to worry, or they don't want you to worry, or they're there to help you, etc. Um, and I, oh, excuse me. I just feel you guys, some of y'all could be getting choked up or something about like the throat chakra, Taurus energy here. Um, I just feel like this is going to end well. I feel like the advice for you is to not overthink it. Don't overreact. Don't overdo it. Don't force it. Don't force just flow. Because if you allow divine timing to take place here, there's a celebration or there's some sort of, um, I keep getting like a proposal or like something something that you really want and desire a gift some sort of collaboration what's at the bottom the higher fan let's see what the higher fan is somebody definitely has plans for you i'm i'm picking up on um matrimony by wale the eight of swords the queen of wands somebody wants to make sure that you feel secure the six of wands they want to lift you up or they're recognizing you there could be some sort of public recognition here the tower card this is you scorpio your energy Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Scorpio, the Ten of Cups, the Star card, the Four. You getting it all? The Four of Wands, the Magician, the Six of Cups, the Fool card. Like this is soulmate energy. If some of you guys are ready, waiting for like a reconciliation or somebody to step their game up or to present to you something, like it's all here. Let me just see what this Tower card is. It feels like it's a good Tower. It feels like it's overwhelming in a good way. King of Wands, Five of Cups. And the Knight of Wands, Four of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to work on something uh, with you or make something up to you. So I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. Leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you guys soon.